I stopped buying soil amendments when I discovered this plant juice trick. If your plants look healthy above ground but stall, wilt, or underperform, the problem is almost always hidden below the soil surface. Weak roots mean weak harvests. Today's promise is simple and bold. You can stop buying most soil amendments once you learn how to turn common garden plants into a fermented juice that builds explosive root systems fast. This is not theory. This is an ancient practice revived for modern gardens, and once you see how quickly it works, soil inputs start to feel unnecessary. The Forgotten Secret of Root Power Healthy gardens are built from the roots up, yet most gardeners obsess over leaves, flowers, and fruit while ignoring the underground engine that feeds everything. Roots do not just absorb nutrients, they communicate with microbes, unlock minerals, regulate water use, and determine how resilient a plant will be under stress. You know, conventional growing often creates shallow, lazy roots that rely on constant feeding. In contrast, biologically active soil encourages thick, branching root systems that forage aggressively and support heavier yields. The missing link is not more fertilizer, it's actually biological stimulation. Fermented plant juice works because it feeds the soil life first, not the plant directly. Once microbes are energized, nutrients already present in the soil become available almost instantly. Roots respond by expanding rapidly, increasing surface area and efficiency. So, what is fermented plant juice really? Well, it's a liquid extract made by breaking down fast-growing green plants using natural fermentation. During this process, plant sugars, enzymes, minerals, and growth compounds are released into a stable, living solution. Unlike compost tea, this is not aerated. Unlike fertilizers, it does not force growth. It stimulates the soil ecosystem so plants grow stronger on their own terms. The most powerful plants to use are nutrient accumulators. Comfrey, nettle, borage, and similar vigorous greens pull minerals from deep soil layers and store them in their leaves. When fermented, those minerals become immediately usable. Brewing the juice that replaces soil amendments starts with fresh, healthy plant material. Avoid woody stems and focus on young leaves and soft growth. Chop the material finely to increase surface area and speed fermentation. For every one kilogram of chopped plant material, you'll want to add one kilogram of natural sugar. This can be raw sugar, jaggery, or even molasses if that's what you have on hand. The sugar, you see, draws moisture from the plants and, well, it fuels those beneficial microbes we're after. Go ahead and mix thoroughly until the plant material is evenly coated and you notice it begins releasing some liquid. Now, pack the mixture into a clean container, pressing it down firmly to remove any air pockets. Remember, it's important to leave at least one quarter of the container empty so gases have room to expand. Cover it loosely. Don't seal it airtight. The mixture really must breathe while it's fermenting. Place the container in a shaded area at a moderate temperature. Within about two days, you'll see liquid start to form at the bottom. Be sure to stir once daily to help prevent any surface mold. After seven to 10 days, fermentation is complete when the bubbling slows down and the liquid smells sweet sour, not rotten. Strain the liquid into a clean bottle. This is your concentrated fermented plant juice. Stored in a cool, dark place, it remains effective for months. This juice is powerful and must always be diluted. For general soil drenching, use one part fermented plant juice to 500 parts water. That means 20 milliliters of juice per 10 liters of water. For young seedlings or stressed plants, you'll want to dilute even further to one part juice to 1,000 parts water. This gentler ratio, folks, stimulates roots without overwhelming those delicate systems. 
For foliar application, just use one part juice to 800 parts water and, uh, make sure to spray early in the morning when leaf pores are open. Never apply undiluted juice directly to soil or leaves. Concentration really matters. So, here's how you can apply it in a real garden. In a small home garden of about 10 square meters, you'll want to prepare 10 liters of diluted solution at the 1 to 500 ratio. Apply this evenly to moist soil around the base of your plants, but, you know, not directly on the stems. This approach allows microbes to carry nutrients into the root zone safely. For raised beds, just pour the solution slowly along the planting rows so it penetrates deeply rather than running off. And when you're working with containers, apply the solution until a small amount drains from the bottom, making sure the entire root ball is treated. Apply once every two weeks during active growth. For heavy feeding crops, a weekly application at a weaker 1 to 1000 dilution keeps roots highly active without overstimulation. Results are often visible within just a few days. Plants stand more upright, their leaf color deepens, and, you know, growth becomes steady rather than forced. So, why do roots respond so fast? Well, fermented plant juice works quickly because it delivers pre-digested nutrients along with beneficial microbes. These microbes convert locked minerals into forms that plants can actually use, while also producing natural growth hormones that stimulate root branching. As roots expand, they release more exudates into the soil which feeds even more microbes. This creates a self-reinforcing cycle, where with each application, soil fertility just keeps getting better. Unlike synthetic inputs, there is no salt buildup, no dependency, and no sudden crash. The soil becomes more resilient with every use. Beyond roots, what changes in the whole garden is pretty remarkable. Stronger roots mean better water efficiency, which reduces stress during dry periods. Plants grown with fermented plant juice show improved resistance to pests because balanced nutrition strengthens cell walls and natural defenses. Flavor improves as well. Crops grown in biologically active soil accumulate sugars and minerals more efficiently, resulting in better taste and storage life. Over time, you know, many gardeners find they no longer need purchase soil amendments at all. Compost just becomes more effective, mulches break down faster, and, well, soil structure improves naturally. Fermented plant juice. It's not a one-time fix. It really is a system. You want to rotate plant materials seasonally to provide a broader mineral profile. And, you know, observe plant responses and adjust dilution rather than increasing strength. Most importantly, stop disturbing the soil excessively. Let roots, microbes, and organic matter build layers of fertility together. This approach turns gardening into regeneration rather than constant correction. If you want deeper roots, stronger plants, and higher yields without endless spending, this plant juice trick changes everything. Once you see the difference underground, you will never look at soil amendments the same way again. If this video helped you rethink how you feed your soil, subscribe to Soil and Crop Central for more timeless, practical growing knowledge. Share this with someone who keeps buying inputs but still struggles with results. Strong gardens start below the surface, and now you know how to build them.